Oh, look at the look at the pole here or the rope. That's cool. Yeah, definitely got a little bit of snow, but it wasn't a much. Yeah, Everything is sufficiently covered on the ground, which is good, but it wasn't wasn't a lot in the, in the way of accumulation. So once again, winter of 2020. No snowstorm accumulations. Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you all are having a good weekend. 
Uh, it's been a pretty relaxing start to the morning here. Um, it's starting to snow a little bit now, but this morning woke up to a little bit of snow cover on the ground. It wasn't very much, but it was really nice out. It was really sunny. <clears throat> This morning about 7 a.m. and I went up to go over to the pit toilet this morning and got some really good video of, uh, of Sierra walking through the snow and just the contrast of like the really bright white and all that stuff. It's a it's a nice way to start the morning. Uh, but I ended up cooking some a nice breakfast and uh, talked to the camp host Todd for a bit, just seeing what he was up to for the day. And I think I'm gonna just chill inside today. It's gonna be more of just a relaxed, chill chill day. I got my got my buckethead shirt on, so I'm rocking that. And uh, I got the PJs on, which is kind of a constant theme in my life. I'm that 40 year old guy who's constantly in sweats. But uh, it's kind of it's kind of funny. It's, it's sunny out at the moment, but it's snowing. So I don't know. I'm hoping that it that these dark clouds. They've got some really dark clouds to the south of us here. And uh, if that rolls in, well, I'm thinking that's going to dump a little bit more because it's supposed to snow throughout the morning here. For the rest of the morning so we'll see what happens but anyway i'm, I'm heating up the dutch oven now I've, i use for those who are unfamiliar let me just flip this over here and i'll show you i use uh two two cast iron skillets two 10 inch cast iron skillets and i put them on top of one another one's a deep dish which is the bottom one obviously this is the, just the normal dish is the top one and then it makes a little bit of an oven you can vent the oven by by uh turning the top one a little bit and it lets a little air flow out on both sides so that's kind of nice if you want to simmer something um it's really easy to cook with these i mean once they get warmed up you just got to regulate temperature so that's why it's nice having the side shelf here the side shelf isn't nearly as hot as the normal normal part of the stove like over the stove box here it can get extremely hot and then what happens is you end up burning the bottom of your baked goods so like you know croissants cinnamon rolls cookies uh, buttermilk biscuits all that stuff you know they'll all get burnt on the bottom but then the top part won't be cooked yet and you're like you kind of ruin your 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 desserts or your treats but what you can do is you can regulate it you can say okay it's getting a little too hot i'm going to put it over here let it cool down a little bit flip whatever item it may be if it's you know if it's something that can be flipped like a uh, buttermilk biscuits or whatever maybe you can flip them and be able to regulate heat like that so it takes a little bit of time to learn how to how to effectively cook over the cast iron but it's it's really a great way to cook and things just turn out great it tastes great so all right let's grab the cinnamon rolls all right now, now i will concede that i'm cheating a little bit because i'm using the pre-made cinnamon rolls just it's easy to bake these so i'm not doing it by hand i mean <laughs> i don't have, i don't have like huge place to make you know my bread and or the dough and uh all that stuff so don't want to make it by hand back here i'm all about doing things on convenience if i can I, I do like to get the organic ones like the annie's i think is what they are i don't know if you ever get if you guys have ever had those but man those are good those are really good these are good too and this is like this has the cream cheese icing so it's the you know it's the stuff that's really good for you so um gonna bake these up it says that there's five servings per container but i think we all know that's a lie because this is just one serving so All right, I'm really interested to see how the bottom of these turns out because I don't I hope they didn't burn. No, perfect. Ah, oh, those turned out great. 
Man, I cannot wait to dive into these. I hope, hope they won't be all be gone in one setting, but it's possible. Hey, no, no, babe, we're going this way. Day two, out hiking the trails. Gonna go by and see if the camp host is here. And uh, his name's Todd, I talked to him earlier. I think he has a map of the trails through here because I found one online, but I didn't see a brochure at the trailhead. And uh, he may join us, me and my little sidekick here, on this, uh, the hikes this afternoon. I went by and checked, but uh, he wasn't there, so I think he must, his truck was gone, so he must have run into town. <clears throat> I noticed when I was walking through the canyon, uh, over to where the camp host campsite is, that the wind was really whipping and my ears got really cold. And uh, the sun just went away. The storm's starting to come in over here, over the horizon. And so, um, it's supposed to have like a mixture of rain and snow over the next 24 hours. <clears throat> so naturally I went and bought a dozen cookies to cook up because you gotta have that survival food on point when it's snowing, you know? Um, but other than that, I just got all health food. I just gotta get back on a health kick because I got kind of out of shape being in the tent, which happens every winter. I mean, you sit around with a stove and you just cook food and I was cooking nonstop, man. It was good. So, man, check out those mountains over there. Check out how pretty this is. Look at this. And look at those way over there. I don't know if it's focused. It's not really focusing very well. So, but what we're going to do now is Got a little of that 44 year old back. Um, what we're doing now is we're just gonna run back to the tent real quick. I'm gonna grab a hat for my ears and then we're gonna do the Sky Loop Trail. I think we can bang this out before before the um, excuse me. We can bang this out before the moisture gets here. And if the moisture does get here, that's all right. It's gonna make it a fun adventure. Some people just grab an extra sweatshirt. Got like an extra wool merino sweatshirt. Grab that, throw it in the pack. Um, let's see what else. Don't have any whiskey, so I throw it in there. <laughs> that keeps you warm on the trail. You do a shot of whiskey and keep trucking, and trust me, you get real warm on the inside. Um, let's see, what else do I need? I need like a Playboy model. Unless the truck camp full time and get naked every day. Um, now let's see. I've got food. I don't want to take a stove with me. I think we'll just bare bones. I got an apple, and I um, also got some. <clears throat> I need to put that sleeping bag up. I got an apple, and I also have a power bar, like a cliff bar thing. So we should be in good shape. What are you thinking, babes? You're looking kind of worse for the wear over there. Hey, you doing okay? Come here, you okay? I seem to be walking okay now. Looks like she was limping a little bit, but it seems to be okay. I've been using that Musher's, uh, Musher's Secret on her uh, paws, and man, that stuff makes all the difference in the world. It makes her paws a little bit softer. They, they were kind of drying out a little bit, and I think that was causing a little bit of uncomfort. Uh, uncomfortableness. <laughs> That's not a word. Heading out, looking good. Let's cut across and go hit the trail. My trusty hiking poles, man. These things have saved my ass so many times. Oh, I don't know when this rain's gonna hit. It looks like it's gonna hit a lot sooner than they're forecasting. They're saying like 5 p.m., but. 
sunny all the way across the valley over there on the Sangre de Cristos. And here it's just socked in. But I'm hoping for some good accumulation. It'd be nice if we did. Say I get like six inches or something like that. Maybe like three feet. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Okay, here's the first evidence of the wagon wheel ruts that kind of came through and made this right here. They, this is a uh, you know uh, volcanic rock, and so it's really easy to to break down. And so these these um, carts would come through. There's two wheel carts, and this is one of them right here. And then you can see the other one, which made that mark right there. And they're, they're really pronounced up here. So let's go up here and check this out because this is this is pretty cool. You can really start to see them. In this section right here, so you can see as you come up, there's like that path, you can just see that groove right there. And then same with over here, let's go down to this one. If you look at this groove, we'll go down like this actually, let me do this. If you look at this groove right here coming up, I guess we, and then coming this way, you can see these marks and then here it gets really pronounced and so you've got <clears throat> these I think they're caritas, caritas, I don't know how to say that pronounced correctly you can see down at the end there I mean both sides, I mean golly they cut they cut so much into this rock it's crazy yeah and this is this is 1971, I believe, not 1771. It's not as exciting. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program here. These ruts just keep going. You can see how they go down. They go down here and they take a left. And they go up that, <clears throat> looks like that, that stream area. Right in there. I don't feel like going to check that out. I want to stay here and look at this stuff because I think this is pretty cool. It's like if we're coming this way, you can see that the track, especially the right track, is really pronounced. The left track is not as well defined unless we're kind of more like this. And then you can see how the the carts came over this, which I think is really cool. Imagine, I couldn't imagine that poor burrow that had to had to pull the pull a cart over this freaking lava rock. That would just be brutal. Okay, babe, what do you say we go back to camp and um, I don't know. I kind of want to dive into those cookies. <clears throat> I promise I'll give you a treat as well. We can cook up some stuff. We get that red beans and rice going too. Let's go back and make it happen. Just thinking, girl. You smelling some delicious backcountry treats? <laughs> she smells something, that's for sure. All right, the battery's blinking, so we gotta make this quick, but love this freaking canyon. Uh, it's really unique, all these lava tubes are insane. And once we get back to camp, we're baking cookies. Ow!